Today we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Friday, August 19, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Carolina Panthers vs New England Patriots The New England Patriots will host the Carolina Panthers on Friday in the second preseason game for both teams. Carolina is coming off a 23-21 win over Washington last week. New England lost 23-21 to the New York Giants on Thursday. These two teams had scheduled joint practices on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Our team pick is New England Patriots plus two points. And here is why. Although there is a lot of attention on the quarterback race between Mayfield and Darnold in Carolina, I don't see much of an edge for the Panthers in this game to justify them being favored. Belichick has shown in recent years that he does not like to lose many preseason games, and I would expect that he would like to see Mac Jones get some work during this game behind Jones. Aaron Brain Hoyer is not someone who should make many mistakes in this environment. New England also seems to have an advantage at the back end of the roster with quarterback Bailey Sapa whose progress appears to be ahead of Matt Corral at this point. Keep in mind that since these teams did practice against each other this week, it's hard to predict how either coach will approach this contest for sure, but I give the edge to the Patriots as an underdog here. Our total pick is over 41 points. New Orleans Saints vs Green Bay Packers the New Orleans Saints will visit the Green Bay Packers on Friday night at Lambeau Field in the second preseason contest for both teams. New Orleans was defeated 17-13 on the road by the Houston Texans last Saturday, failing to cover as a one-point favorite. Green Bay also dropped its preseason opener on the road by a 28-21 score to the San Francisco 49ers on Friday as a 2.5-point underdog. Our team pick is Saints plus 3 points. And here is why. A new era began on Saturday for the Saints as they had their first game action under new head coach Dennis Allen following the departure of Sean Payton after 16 years, with the offense getting off to a lethargic start. Andy Dalton led a successful first drive that ended with a 9-yard touchdown pass to Dwayne Washington, but that would be the only time New Orleans found the end zone all night, and the Texans scored the game-winning touchdown with 25 seconds left. The Packers have not looked sharp on either side of the ball under LaFleur in the preseason the last two years, so the underdog Saints have some good value here. A first-year head coach in Allen plus the two new coordinators in New Orleans may want to put in some extra effort in the preseason to make sure everything is running smoothly, while Green Bay has to be concerned with Love's performance so far. Having a very capable backup like Dalton who looked great running the offense can give the Saints a leg up here and in the second week of the preseason we could see him play a couple more drives compared to last week. On the other side, Love hasn't looked comfortable operating an NFL offense either in preseason or actual games, and his inaccuracy last week is a major concern. New Orleans at least played well on the defensive side of the ball in the opener, and Green Bay's offense is only averaging 10.5 points per game in its last four preseason contests. Take the points here as the Saints are more than capable of keeping up with the preseason Packers based on what we've seen from Love. Our total pick is over 39.5 points. And here is why. I am leaning towards the over in this game with the total set pretty low at 39.5. The Packers had 437 yards of total offense in their loss to the 49ers last week and I think they will move the ball well again. Love will have a good game and cut down on the turnovers and I look for them to run the ball pretty well. While the Packers are only averaging 10.5 PPG in their last four preseason game with Love getting a lot of action and the chance to make plays down the field the team will have a decent scoring output. The Saints will also look to make plays with Book, as the team will have a long look at him to see if he should be on their roster. 
This game will not be a shootout but not a defensive battle either, so the over is the smart pick. Houston Texans vs Los Angeles Rams On Friday night, the Houston Texans and Los Angeles Rams meet in Week 2 of preseason action at SoFi Stadium. The Texans managed to defeat the Saints 17-13 in Week 1, covering the spread as two-point home favorites. The Rams outlasted the Chargers 29-22 in their first action since hoisting the Super Bowl last year. Houston opens this game as a three-point road favorite. Our team pick is Houston minus three points, and here is why. Just two short years ago, the Texans looked like they were on the verge of being one of the premier teams in the NFL, they were being quarterbacked by Deshaun Watson, had the premier wide receiver in football in DeAndre Hopkins and one of the best defenders in football in defensive lineman J.J. Watts. In a blink of an eye of all three players are elsewhere and the Texans are in full rebuild. The team is now led by second-year quarterback David Mills. Mills started 13 games last season as a rookie as part of the Texans' dismal 4-13 season. Mills was 3-for-3 three for, three for 14 yards in two drives where the team failed to get a first down in the preseason opener versus New Orleans. Once again, Lovey Smith and the Texans enter a game that is more important to them than it is to their opponents. The Rams won't be playing any of their top players, including Stafford, Donald, Cup and either of the team's top two running backs. McVay has a preseason policy that is now going on five years that involves the resting of all his key players. For three years, McVay rested all his starters and last season, he increased that policy to key rotation players as well. Expect the Rams to feature a lineup of 35 backups with a number of bubble players fighting to make the squad. Not surprisingly, McVay is 6-10 all-time in the preseason, including four straight losses. The Texans, on the other hand, are trying to establish a culture, a winning culture. They will not be resting key pieces in this game excluding those that have any nagging injuries, while I don't expect to see Stingley Jr. playing in this game, I do expect to see more of Mills at QB. Mills played two series in the opener but I expect to see him closer to a half in this matchup. Mills, a second-year quarterback with 13 NFL games under his belt, should fare well against the Rams' backups on the fast track in SoFi Stadium. Love Smith is a veteran coach who understands the importance of building up a team and I expect to see the Texans going all out in this one looking to continue a winning trend. Our total pick is under the total and here is why. The Texans have been at or near the bottom of the NFL in rushing yards for the last two seasons. That will be the primary focus this preseason. If they can get some type of production from that front, it will take a ton of pressure off Mills and his progression behind center, due to the fact that the Texans will run the ball a ton here. This game looks like an automatic under.